I'm Sarah, and I'm from the Immigration People. Don't panic, you may have seen me on the website or I may have answered your call when you called into our office. I am Sarah and I am from the Immigration People and I'm a senior consultant at the firm. So there are two motivational factors as to why I chose this industry. Firstly, I get to make an impact on my client's life. I get to get their immigration goals come true. And secondly, will be the diverse cultures that I'm exposed to through the stories that they tell me about their own livelihoods in their own country. In today's episode, I want to share with you an interesting case that I had some time ago. This case was actually a sponsored application case. The applicant is an EP holder and the sponsor is a Singapore citizen who is his spouse. Usually, the main focus will be on the sponsor's profile. But in this case, the sponsor's profile was very weak because she wasn't working and at the same time, she was having health issues. The EP holder, who is a spouse, who had actually more achievements and had a lot of industry experience, which where most of the value actually lies. During our consultation, the clients did mention that they were looking for professional help as they knew that this was not an open shut case. Should they have gone and applied on their own, they would have gotten rejected. I remember during our first consultation, we identified their strengths. The sponsor, who is a Singapore citizen and has a child with the applicant, would lend their individual weights to the application itself. As for the employment pass holder, who is the husband, he has got economic contributions and also an overachiever in his industry. So these were their strengths. So at this point, I just want to clarify that the assumption is that ICA prefers a certain industry over other industries. The truth is ICA is looking at your contributions, your achievements, your roles and responsibilities towards your industry. So coming back to this case, we assisted them in building their profile in areas such as social integration, financial commitment, and also presenting their case to ICA in the best way possible. Additionally, to improve the chances of our client's profile, we had given them a consolidated list of supporting documents that would lend weight to their application. And during the course of three months, we assisted them with volunteering opportunities and other documents such as cover letters and testimonials to strengthen their profile. And in just eight months, they got their approval and I'm so happy for them. In fact, they were anticipating a rejection, but I'm glad they looked for me and I managed to make an impact on their lives. I will not advise you to do this on your own because there's a high likelihood that you'll get rejected and there's a lot of time being wasted. My advice will be to seek professional help so that we can help you build your profile and strategically present your application to ICA in the best way possible. Again, I'm Sarah and if you like more content like this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to The Immigration People and I'll see you in another episode.